Hey, good morning everyone. My name is Steve Bailey. I'm one of the instructors with Eco Training. And for our second last Flora Friday, we're going to do the shepherd's tree this morning, Boschia albatronca. So it's this beauty standing here to my left. The size of this tree and the conditions it's growing on, I would imagine this is a very, very old tree. This is well over two to three hundred years old. This is a relatively arid low rainfall area, northern part of Kruger. Plus it's growing amongst some dolerite rocks and volcanic rocks, so it wouldn't get a lot of moisture. And this is one of the biggest specimens I've seen in my entire career. The Latin name Boschia albatrunca refers to the white trunk, especially on younger trees, but in other parts of the country towards the west, all the way down to the ground, the trunk is white. And the shepherd's tree, it was used in the past by early settlers, even the early uh, Bantu-speaking people with their cattle, their goats, their sheep. This tree is evergreen. In incredibly hot summers, they would take shade and shelter under this tree in the heat of the day. Plus, the leaves are very nutritious to browse. During incredibly tough times of drought, and uh, Southern Africa is notorious for extreme droughts over certain times of, the, of cycles and the early settlers, particularly cattle farmers in the day, would actually fell the tree. It doesn't die, it would then grow sideways and the leaves would be made available for browsing cattle, goats, sheep, whatever livestock they had at the time. The Afrikaans name is quite attractive, it's called a Witgat Stinkboom and uh, the stink boom, stink tree, comes from the aroma or the odor of the flowers. So it's not a very sweet smell, it smells very much like urine. The Setswana name I believe is a mapipi tree because it smells like pee and vitgat um, would re refer to the white part of the tree. The early settlers used to actually make a coffee from the roots of this tree, which they affectionately called Ghat, G-A-T. And apparently it would put hair on your chest, so you were quite brave to drink a cup of that. And they used to refer to that coffee as Ghat. And just the way you say that word, you can imagine it hasn't got a very nice flavor.